think we are ready. Hello everyone, this is Burnt Biscuit 84 giving you a, a Moo Moo guy. I know I've been a little bit late on this with with this rework and all. And um I haven't got him yet. I've <laughs> been trying to grind out on some ranks and playing jungle I know, so I usually uh, play I usually play Warwick, Trundle or Nocturne. It's usually my top three. Moo Moo is up there. Um he he's not exactly great in high elo, but in terms of low uh, elo, he's pretty good with his Wii work. So double Q, <laughs> double stun on his Q, um, amazing. Uh, make sure you hit your skill shots compared to me. So Moo um, Moo rework, fun. So runes on your screen right now, conquer uh, for the four stack, and so we're heading straight. To the top lane, actually, on our red side, because the Moo is better um, clearing out the AOE camps. Um, from experience, uh, clearing out the blue side is a little bit more difficult challenge. But and we, but however, most in your low yield because you won't see the ping there. You you most likely. Uh, most likely the jungle will start bot side. Also, you can tell that the Warwick show early compared to the bot lane. So you can tell that the Nunu started bot lane. Be careful here. Uh, if she did actually start on top lane or top side and invade you, you'd probably be dead. Yay, top lane. Ribbon. She, we, she, she. And I'm basically showing you how to carry as a Moo Moo when every every lane's losing. Cause oh my lord, um, it was so bad. Uh, our Karthus Ventry uh, started coming online, but our actual bot lane was garbage. Ashen was no had a decent early game, and Riven just basically inting the rest of the match, but. Anyways, clearing out your wrist side, going straight to blue, so we can queue on to the wolves for faster, um, <laughs> faster clearing. So with his uh, curse item, um, does additional two damage for. So a lot of these camps, you want to um, hit them with the auto attack and then eat them for that extra damage. Um, so we could finish our blue side. However, the Kyrie is being chased by a Moo Moo because she is a Moo Moo. She will gank a shit ton on the bot <laughs> throughout the rivers. So we can just go to the crab with our bot lane help, and we have mid prowl. We could save the smite uh, for these two camps to stay healthy. Uh, I but I didn't know where the Moo Moo was um, once she. Uh, was out of vision, so just smite just in case. But be careful. You could, in my opinion, uh, I, I'm I'm not exactly a Moomoo Moomoo so I don't know how much limiting I can do with them. You could have combined the blue and the Gromp with them uh, for a faster clearing. So hit those stuns. Just hit all. Clear out camps because we want to try to get that level six. So Moo Moo is is better now with uh, early Genki with his um, doing double Q, but he's pops off better with his uh, level six. So we try getting on the bot lane because we can see on the um, health that misfortune is not exactly low, but you do have flash up. So we can be careful here. We can dive them. Don't don't just idle farm. Try to dive them, and carry them for Carthage. Just chunk them, chunk them a little lower. Just wait until the way push in, and then we can go in. So I could have Q onto the Sonya, and then go for the misfortune. However, I want to make sure I queued her, make sure because she, she did have flash up. Uh, so. Did, did not want to risk it. But we did get our Kha'Zix killed, but we did 
get them kills one to one and since you gank bot lane I mean was gonna do something mid lane or top lane so I was gonna go up try help help out but you as you can tell we saw a, a new new I keep saying a moo moo a new new coming down so best to just get out of there a moo moo a new new yeah a moo moo a new new a moo moo try to do that f four times but anyways uh you could argue that we can can go straight to our red side and clear it out and then clear on downward however dragons up and in some of your lower elos in most cases there there's most likely they won't start drag no way um but um but sometimes low elo junglers will do random stupid things like this and plus we we're we're trying to focus on the bot lane to get them fed um, try to help help our bot lane out because our top is literally on to not doing so hot on this CS either missed the Q upsetting so be careful with Nunu because his Q does hit minions so I stat I stay here too a little bit too late I try to wait till to get the misfortune in order to one to one not exactly the best scenario here but told him back off, push away, back off. Um, and we can go while they reset. You can go straight to your, back to your. Um, I miss another queue. You can go back straight to your camps. Try to get that level six close as possible. N Nunu is a high ganking jungler compared to a Mumu. Because uh, her giant ball of death will kill you, kill him like that. But we can rotate. We saw the Fizz uses a little Q on targetable ability. So just wait it out because you know he has it up pretty soon. Just wait it out. It's done. He's dead. So bot lane's rotating. Mid fortune has to deal with the wave. The Karthus. Is with you and their fizz is dead so we can take dragon here uh, Nunu can stroll on by to check it but it'd be very risky for her plus we're also level six so you gotta be aware on what is happening and because you got the dragon the Nunu is gonna have to do something somewhere elsewhere and guess where she said it top lane Nunu is doing very well on ganking but we need to do better so so we saw Nunu on top we kill the misfortune bot so I'll ride her back here um Karth is the only one very healthy Katarina's um not level 6 and she's kinda low in health you have no mana just bear back off so now because um Bot side is doing a okay now. Still kind of struggling, but we can roam top side see if we can help our top lane. So I try to do a flanking on the Fizz for if he stayed there too long. However, he did not, and I was just double checking here and the where it was push up. However, I lost sight of him. Best to back off. Just clear your camps. Don't waste time. It was good to check the riff, but just go on take your red side clamp camps. <laughs> I went back here because I thought I'm, I thought the uh, burn proc didn't kill the big rafters. I was I was gonna be upset, so I went double check. So clean out your rail. That shutdown is gonna be kind of helpful for the Carthus. Well, not the Karthus. The Karthus death is going to be helpful for the misfortune. So we see Nunu Genki top or mid. So we try to gain top. However, giant wave 
you are I'm two levels down. I don't have my R up. Well, I do, but in terms of sustain, Warwick will outbeat me due to his healing. So best not do it. Not exactly the best top lane. Uh, Owen four, but I didn't exactly help uh, my top or mid lane out so much. But we are to you know we can wait with the ribbon to see if we can do something. But be careful. You know that Mumu gank the this way. Cause if you were paying attention to him, he should appear right there. So he most likely finished his bot bot side and went top. So I try to scan through here, uh, make sure nothing there. However, a war see me, and he thinks that I moved on back. So use the. So I want to point out on the opposite end. So. Luckily, he didn't see us, actually. So, use the Fog Award. Know the Fog Award. So, he doesn't know I'm here. So, I rotate down into that bush. Right? So, he doesn't know I'm here. And then, when he when he's too far in, go for him. He does have Flash Op, however, he used it wrong. Use the... I used the R a little bit too early. Uh, we could wait for the Nunu, or yeah, Nunu get a little bit closer than R. But I, I set it off too early. However, a Riven does finally get a kill. Um, she should back here. Um, try not engage. Uh, she does want the wave, but a Nunu will steamroll her down. And with that health from the E or the Q with the Nunu, it's kind of bad. And she has her W up, and goodbye to the Riven. Yeah. Riven. Not exactly doing great. So, back up. We could have done our... We could have done our Wolves. I try to rotate, see if they overstayed, but they didn't. So, I'm... I'm trying to get better at this. Um, please, please, please. Genki's good, but farming loves you up. So I missed another Q. Please hit your skill shots. I don't care about me. Just cut it out. He go. He dives the Ashen. We smite him. Just make sure he doesn't get away. We did get the kill. So three and one. However, um, she's going for dragon. Because uh, she does have bot lane prior, and um, uh, I am kind of low, so she's mainly going for it. However, our bot lane's back up, so instead of them going for the dragon, I stumble around. I should focus on the Nunu, but uh, more worry about getting that low, low kill. Don't exactly do that. I kind of basically gave him a free dragon because of that but make sure to hold that subjective objective secure and don't die okay three one um and three so not too bad um Karthus is, is three and four Karina's one two Ashen's always I'm literally the only one positive in this game so this is how you have to carry even though you're not the damage output source. You gotta figure out who your damage person. So I try approach here. Uh see if I can get the fizz. I Q he queued. So drive by gank. Couldn't get him. Oh well. It gives Ashen uh Ashen Ashen uh gives the bin later some breathing room kind of. So I uh, I thought about trying to get top lane again. Um, however, there is a war that spawned me because his 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 motion is a little bit weird. So sometimes just hovering your laners can help by just letting them get in that CS. And I started rotate mid lane because. Uh, they're gonna be here, so I start rotating down. 
And since the Nunu is gonna be pinched with the ribbon, I decided to go for her. Good stun. I tried flashing Q, miss. However, I stunned both of them. Get the Nunu. Try and get the Woolwit, kind of him. And chain our CS, and we get a double kill. So you could immediately do Riff. Uh, however, I saw the timer on the blue buff mainly went for the blue buff try and stifle the new new experience new news experience and then straight on to the riff so <laughs> I get very lucky here I want is basically the same thing happened in dragon pit but vice versa this time so I'm over here taking the riff arrow there's the new new and she completely ignores the rib however she does she will get that kill on the ribbon because you're not rotating but we did get the objective but and that's kind of I wouldn't say a fair trade but it's better because <laughs> the ribbons to know if she was like had like a lot of shut down gold and she was like carrying it yeah rotate um, but there's no point uh, try to save a dying lane. Uh, it, it's really hard. It's really hard. You basically to to either um, hard carry a losing lane is either gain early again, or if they're so far back, like two and six. Uh, and she started catching up with CS, um, giving uh, giving some pressure out, but. Um, it's really hard to um, you either have to have a goon squad like three more people or or you yourself are is the big carry that damage carry I'm not I am only a tank Nunu is there I couldn't 2v2 it um, Nunu is doing good Warwick's doing good so there's no point gang on the mid lane again I feel sorry for the mid lane he got boy a lot Still, you are right now. Well, I am two, four and one four. Um, try and be in the fights, um, and because I haven't do haven't do much farming, the new news kind of had me on on kills. I try to do something bot side, see if I can get get them for overstaying. I try to focus on the misfortune instead of the um, Sonya, uh, Sonya. So we had to fight here because we're too far back. Turn around on the misfortune. I try. I thought my R would have made it to her. Let let your damage person do kill them. <laughs> so I got very lucky here. And Carthus saved our laps. <laughs> Very. He absolutely saved it. Oh my lord. Now we know that the Carthus start coming online. He has he's about to get two items. So So he's the carry, so you protect your carry. And five one and six, not too bad. Um New News dead, um, and their bot lane's dead. Immediately rotate to the dragon. Um mid lane and your bot lane is rotating to help you with it. No reason to smite it. Plus, I didn't have my smite up, but Nunu is dead, so. So, you could argue to finish up your camps and then rotate back. However, I was running low with this. This, but the problem was, I thought about it and I canceled my reload time or re recall time. Don't do that. If you're going to make a decision, make it. At then and precise because if you waste time on the map you basically shoot yourself to your feet in in the feet by just not doing anything the reason why I thought about doing it is because that's not ooh, it's this one I had 2,000 go in pocket however the Rith arrow was about spawn or about despawn out of my hand because 
make sure you know how to use correctly. But top lane, mid lane, like the first tower is Detroit. I want to try to get the bot tower with the Rift Hero. So me and the Carthus is, is kind of healthy. Uh, and our bot lanes rotate. So we try to do something bot side. Wards there. Don't don't just clear it. Um, just go straight up. But however, they're too far back. So go back now. Clear it. But be there for your team. It's gonna crash into the tower. You get. I flash stun the misfortune. We can clean up the kill. Well, if she didn't have the health, okay, you're taking too much. However, Carthus pressed his highly skilled R and killed it. So, protect the Caitlyn the best can. And we got her. We got them both. And then Warwick comes, basically a giant goon squad to come down. However, Carthus not exactly on the healthiest mana, and I'm not healthy in the health department. So, probably not the best thing to do. And Warwick does get a W speed up because you are low um, war main so I, I I fully understand that champ but 9-1 and 9 so and Karthus finally start coming online now um, and he's really been helping us out by we're helping him out so still losing lanes can scale and win. Um, Katarina scale, Riven scale, they, they eventually start coming off. You just have to be aggressive, but while maintaining control. So, I didn't go rotate to this, because it's the misfortune got caught out. Um, surely two people can kill her. Surely. But, this is basically kind of it moment on my part. Um, dived in a little bit too late. Luckily, I am a tank, and our team is rotating up. So I try to protect our carry. And that is our Karthus <laughs> so far. I, I'm doing pretty well as a tank, but Karthus, don't, where's that right now in your damage? So. Take, punish the Nunu, take her jungle and make it your own. Pretty standard on cow and jungling. I could have done it a little bit earlier when she was ganking a different lane. However, I want to try to get it. And this is basically a dumb play on my part. Don't be aware of your teammates' health and mana because that's why and if you dive that too far into a tower this is basically what happened you gave a shutdown gold to the Nunu and feels it so two shutdown goals not exactly the smartest choice on my part but whatever because um, we, we, we basically only get two int moments throughout all of the game so we can rotate to this um, they're gonna try be on dragon. Um, so what was shocking me is that they weren't on it to begin with, because either the Nunu wasn't up, or whatnot. But so t three big fights that really cost them the game, and this is where the the gold will start tipping. Well, we started doing good with the Karthus, mainly that big 3v3 th three three fight, but this is really where we start getting a little carry away. So Karthus is our um, big damage output person, so try and protect him. Fizz is kind of low. Got him. Warwitz also low. Car Karthus and Riven are damage. I stunned the Nunu. My bad. Yeah, triple till. But luckily, in the after death of Karthus, he is able to clean up and nobody gets dragon. So <laughs> that was a cluster fuck mess. So I'll play it back here a little bit. So. So. 
War War it try push up. New new try and go with with the Fizz go for a flank. However, the Sonya's with the Karthus. And I know the Fizz uh, Fizz want to try to get the Karthus out of the way because that's our carry right now. So I try to protect him the best I can. Use R on the Fizz. St actually hit a stun. And then now go hit, hit the next lowest target. And that's Warwick. So no cooldowns are up. Your My stun's not up. And I got knocked up. However, the Rivers come back in the back line for a stun. I know I was going to die. I basically tried to hit the Q just to try to kill someone. <coughs> Sonya is, is dead. And misfortune with the Karthus dead. So Karthus with his after state effect keeps hitting his uh, Q. And... Maxing out the Q on Karthus is very good um, when you're now the damage person. And because the that last Q and the dragon basically targeting the Inunu, nothing happened. It's basically everybody dies in the dragon pit. So, you could argue go back for dragging in. Um, or, you can go back dragging in, but most likely in your lower elos, they're going to go, they'll probably go barren. Or refight in a dragon pit. But however. Warwick's top side. He's going to basically 1v. Uh, 4v5 it. Because he's not there. And he does not have TP. And that's a easy dragon for us. We try to hit the Sonya. But she did have flash. She almost got called out there. We We can chase a little bit. And she died. I queued the Nunu and try to stun the Misfortune because she is the damage carrier. So on their team now. So when you're playing a Nunu, either you got two options. You can either stun the bat line and try to clean up because you, because unless they kite well, um, like uh, Ash or something, dead, just dead. Um, or you can protect your lane by hitting his stuns off, engaging well, and um, try to play around your team. However, when your team's losing, they're not going to put the damage out in most cases. So, get rid of their damage carry may tilt the scale in your favor so um, it, it's very situational um, so I think after realizing my situation defending the Karthus and killing their misfortune is my priority targets so so I did get called out here um, when I was thinking with it because when you die the back line and your team does not follow up you basically screwed however New new got caught out. I tried to die the back line, but I got stunned and everything. But luckily, your team can clean up. Ash and Ribbons start finally coming out online. And they have their death. So, you could argue you just go for the. Um, Baron, however, we don't have in him down, and all their teams dead. So it's, I would say Baron's more worth, but because I'm a jungler, I I, I love playing Jekka. But in terms of laners, probably be Baron just getting Nexus and back out. So not not the biggest best team fight, um, on my side. Uh, but it's the only reason why the fight happened because the Nunu got caught out, but she has zoning. It's very weird. And with that being down, I try to recall my team back into a Baron fight. So, clear that out. Riven and Ashen, Auction want to um, recall. So, just clear out your camps. However, the, 
the uh, Karina was getting chased, so just rotate. So right here, this is gonna be another team fight that basically just lost in the game. This is the last team fight because we're up 2k gold, and then after this and a few more, we we got up to like I think 10k or or something pretty high. I, I don't think it's 10k, maybe seven something like that. But anyways, rotate around with your team. Um, dragon spawn up very soon. So you you could take take in the Baron. However, with Dragon Spawn, you don't exactly die before um, Dragon in the Baron Pit because this is so this is so prior. So just let the Cat Ringer have it. Um, you could took it, but. Um, and what really got them screwed is Fizz got called out. He's pushing away, disrespecting the drag spawner up, so he knows that our team's gonna be here. And now it's 4v5. So I try to make more aggressive play. I'm looking at my um mini map to see where they're at. And then Miss Fortune got called out. Stun her, focus target the misfortune. Cuter again killed the misfortune. And then your team can wrap wraps things up. And right there, um, 5k go lead, my guys. Dragon, we immediately went to the Baron, just get that, double ejected them. And basically, that is GG, my fellas. Up 8k gold, and we're just... So you can shove it down the bot lane and get that tower. You don't want to exactly fight in the mid lane mainly because uh, I'll, I'll play. I play back. No one exactly fight in the mid lane because um, you already have a big way pushing up. But they, I think they were trying to just shove it to in, and Sonya just got called out. So rotate here. Stop. Stop firing like I did. Um, cause they get called out and you're not there, you kinda screwed. So, we kinda 1, 2, 4 it, let, or 1, uh, 3, 2, 2 it, let the Karthas, Kyria, take the tower, however, you gotta be careful here. But since you are the carry, we can kill him. I could, almost had the quadra, but Ashen got it. But and I, I don't know what the Sonya was doing. And that's basically the game. Uh, up, 10k gold. Yeah, it was 10k gold. And basically that is game. Even though I'm not much ganking as the Nunu by rolling, just rolling the ball down the river, but just making good calls. Keep it up with Genki, knowing which lane that scales and try to help them out, really sets you in lead. So me and the Karthus really carry that game. Karthus started having a rough start. Uh, however, we were able to help him back up. And Riven actually started going about even. And so did the auction. So Rough start. Um, lot, a lot of losing lanes, but by just maintaining your camps, ganking at the opportune moments, and making sure you stay alive with those gankings and taking objectives, you can actually come back. So, please, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Um, I just give you a just what it looks like in low elo, how most players play, because that's where we all sit. Um, but also, please check for guy you gameplay. Um, he is the one that teaches me. Uh, how to jungle better uh, he focuses on like master tier all, all that and above because um, they know their champion they know they can hit their skill shots a little bit better but they're more consistent um, they do miss their skill shot everybody does everybody have those moments but um, they're just more consistent know how to punish the enemy jungler and punish the team so very good at um, teaching out so please check out his channel and also, I think he does have a Moomoo guide up there as well. Um, it might be on this side. Um, 
I don't know what side it was, um, but please go check it out. And if you just like my content as well, please hit that like subscribe button again um, if you want to see more um, uh, relative, or like something relatable type of guys because I'm not exactly the best player out there, but I can learn from everything and see and show you how most player play light in low elo. So please, um, till next time, let's all climb out of low elo together. Bye. Say no, then we're so bad.